This is my video review of the Fine Fine Technology microphone. It's a boom microphone with a shock mount on there. It comes in this nice box. Very well protected with foam. Here is the instruction sheet on how to use the microphone. And let's see what it comes with here. You got the microphone itself with the you can see the boom right here and it looks like it has three adjustments on there or three levels of sensitivity I see 20 decibels, 10 decibels and 0 decibels with a three position switch and you have a gold plated mini uh, eighth inch connector and you have the actual shock mount with your DSLR or your 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 strobe mount on there with an adjustable tensioning screw and a little screw right here which appears to be stainless steel uh, you can tighten and allows you to change the angle and this microphone goes into the center and it kind of balances right there and it allows us some shock absorbing and the vibrations from your camera, like your autofocus and things, will have a harder time getting to that microphone element on the tip here. Included also, I see an additional set of the rubber pieces that, uh, there's four of them that keep this microphone centered, and a little foam cover for wind environments, and two batteries. I'm going to see if this takes both of them or one of them. And below the foam is a nice rubberized holder with a one of these pull ties that allows you to tension it. And that's nice. Now the uh, camera that I'm going to be testing this on is a uh, Canon uh, Rebel T2i which has a microphone input right there and we're going to be testing some before and after footage to see how this microphone does. The instruction sheet uh, has information about the microphone and the pattern of sensitivity which is nice and has the specs. Some of the specs here it's a back electric condenser mic hyper cardioid, cardioid 40 hertz to 16 kilohertz um, sensitivity is minus 43 decibel, 300 ohm impedance plus or minus 20% at 1 kilohertz. Uh, total, it's a maximum output signal pressure level is 130 decibels. The signal to noise ratio is 76 decibels, which is pretty good. Dynamic range is 106 decibels, which is very good. It says power crown is DC3, so I assume it uses uh, one of these batteries. These are 1.5 volts, so I'll probably use both of them. Um, and it says that uh, that the microphone is supplied with a pre-polarized capsule, tested high temperature and high humidity for 24 hours. I assume they're talking about the microphone itself. Let me show you how to mount it on top of your uh, DSLR camera. Let's try and get the batteries in here. So after testing it, it looks like the positive goes towards the back and the negative goes towards the spring. So that's the way I put it in, it takes two batteries. So the positive goes towards this little back plate and the connection, and the positive, which is the uh, smaller conductor piece, goes towards the spring itself. And then you take the cover, and uh, it fits only one way on here, hopefully it goes back on. And there it snaps on. So here I have it on my uh, Canon camera. I got the shock mount on and the foam piece. And it looks pretty nice. And I have it plugged in to the microphone input on the camera. And I have an SD card in the camera. And I'm going to try some uh, footage of it with me talking and bring it to the onboard microphone. This is the built-in microphone of the camera at five feet away. Testing one, two, three, one, two, three. 
Okay, this is me testing it at 0 dB. Testing 1, 2, 3. Testing 1, 2, 3 at 0 dB. This is me testing it at 10 dB. Testing 1, 2, 3. And I am 5 feet away. This is testing it at 20 dB, 5 feet away. Testing 1, 2, 3. So what's my overall impression of the Fifine recording microphone, the uh, shotgun microphone. Um, I think it's a pretty decent product overall. The quality of the mount is very nice. The uh, centering of the microphone is basic but very well done. The adjustment is nice. The microphone's very high-tech looking, very slim, probably one of the slimmest ones I've seen. Uh, the fact that it has a decibel control, 20 dB and 10 dB is unique. And the fact that it's real on-off switch, um, so the battery shouldn't discharge and it's in the off position. The things that I don't like about this product is there's no instructions on how to put the battery in, which I had to figure out. This top piece, you have to pop off and it goes flying. It's not on a hinge. So they need to add instructions for that and how to put the battery in. And as you can see by the video samples, the noise level goes up considerably when you go to 10 and 20 decibels. And as you can see by the example that the microphone was no better than the built-in microphone. In fact, this microphone had a little more noise than the built-in one. Now, I these are all very similar. I've, I've tested other microphones like this. Most of these work better when they're away from the camera and you put a little extension on this cable and you have it right by the person talking. That's your best bet. If you're going to be using um, somebody close to your camera, you're better off using the camera that comes with it unless you have a boom camera or something that you could uh, hook into your camera that way. But these microphones are okay, but they generally don't perform that well on the camera themselves compared to the built-in microphone. So I'm gonna give this product a four star rating on my YouTube review channel. And I hope these uh, video samples and this review helped you with your buying decision. Thanks for watching.